QuickBooks Desktop 2023. Budgeted Income Statement Data Input. Let's do it with Intuit's QuickBooks Desktop 2023. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Here we are in QuickBooks Desktop, Get Great Guitars Practice File. We started up in a prior presentation, going through the setup process we do every time, maximizing the home page, going to the view drop down. We got the hide icon bar, open windows list checked off, open windows open on the left. Reports drop down, company and financial. Let's open up the profit and loss, the P and L, change the range from 010123 to 022823. Then we're gonna customize it. Go to the fonts, the numbers, changing the font up to 14. Okay, yes and okay. Reports drop down again, company and financial again, but this time the balance sheet. Customizing the report, changing the range 010123 to 022823. And fonts to the numbers, changing the font size, bringing it up to 14. Okay, yes, and okay. In prior presentations, we talked about the budget process, focusing mainly on the income statement, the timing statement, the performance statement. And instead of exporting the income statement, we exported a trial balance, adjusted the trial balance to basically the income statement component of it as our baseline to construct the budget in Excel so that we can make alterations within Excel. Now that we have it constructed, we're gonna use this data to put back into QuickBooks so that we have that future data in QuickBooks. And then we can use QuickBooks to do what it does best, which is to make reports such as in the reports dropdown, we've got the budget reports, we've got the budget overview, and this is the big one here, the budget versus actual. So as time passes, we can see what we plan to do and what we actually did. So right now we're gonna just input the budget. So we're gonna go to the company dropdown. We're gonna go to the uh, planning and budgeting and we're gonna set up a budget. Now, if we don't have one set up, we're gonna make a new one here. We're gonna say it's for 2023. Just a quick recap of our, our thought process. We started with the two months of data that we currently had in the system and kind of imagined as if they were the prior two months of data so that we're gonna be entering information in for January through December of 2023. That will allow us to have comparative data when we run reports for two months, the January and February, and then we'll have the, the rest of the months out forward that we don't have any comparative data for. That's the general uh, thought process we're doing here. So we're going to say 2023. Uh, I will say, okay, next, uh, no additional criteria. So I'm going to keep that and then choose how you want to create the budget, create budget from scratch. This option lets you manually enter amounts for each account that you want to track, or we can create the budget from the previous actual data. So we're going to have a budget. I'm going to break it out by month. If we made the budget from the last period's actual data, then we can obviously have our budget, which will line up to what actually happened in the prior year. Now that could be good. There's pros and cons to that, but no matter what you do, if you want a more sophisticated budget or even any kind of sophistication, generally you have to basically export to Excel or do something else to it. Cause you're going to need to make changes based on what you think is going to happen in the future. And even if you used last year's data you might have differences in the timing of of like some some months might be more than the other in terms of revenue but even still oftentimes the later information sometimes is going to be more relevant because hopefully you're moving in a positive upwards direction and that, that'll be relevant going forward but we're going to 
choose the first option here and we're gonna say finish. And now we in essence just have an income statement on down below broken out by month. And we're just gonna populate our income statement. I'm gonna make this a little bit wider, which you could do kind of like Excel with the three dots up top. And so let's just do some data input and see what it looks like. So let's start with one by one. We've got in equipment rental 1130. So equipment went to right there, 1130. And then I'm gonna put my cursor back on it. We increased that one over here by 1.05 each period. So let's see if I can adjust that. I'm not gonna copy it across, but adjust row amounts as we are copy across for the year. It has two options, first month, uh, currently selected month. We're on both first and currently selected, but I'm gonna say currently selected as my general rule. Increase each remaining month amount in this row by this dollar amount or percent. So you can use then either a dollar or amount or percent increase. If I delete the percent, it will be a dollar amount, which we'll see in a future component. We're gonna use a percent here, which is gonna be 1.05 and i think it's just going to be five percent it'll be a five percent increase from the last time period which in our formula here would be 100 percent plus five percent uh increase so let's see i think that's what we need i'll double check it we could check it out and see if it calculates as we would expect which would be you know this let's pull out the trusty calculator just to see what we would expect it to be doing what i want it to do is go from 1130 times 0 0.05, 56.05 increase, plus the 1130 would be that the 1186, or you could say 100 plus 0 0.05, 5%, 105%, 1.05 times 1130 gets us to that 1186. So that's what we'd expect to see in February. So, and then I wanna enable compounding because I want it to continually increase as we go up compounded on the prior period increase. So I'm gonna check that one off and let's uh, see what it does. So did it do what we expect it to do? It does, so that looks good there. Then we're gonna go, let's see, maybe I can make this like green to say I've marked it off. Done on that one. And then this one is going to be sales 29226. Sales, sales is going to be 29226. I'm going to go back on it. And this one we increased by 1.1 each time or 10% increase. Okay. So I'm going to 10% increase it, do an adjustment of the rows again. And I'm going to take the current sale and I'm going to make it a 10% increase. One, zero percent so i'm converting from a percent to a decimal when i go to my worksheet here but enable compounding should do the same thing okay 32148 is feb airy that looks good let's greenify it greenified and then we've got 4250 service revenue 4250 4250 put my cursor back on it and then I'm gonna say that one, we just increased by a flat amount of 1,000 each time. So let's do that. I'll just flat amount increase it and say, put my cursor back on it, adjust this time current month, but no percent, just increase it by $1,000 each time. Slightly different. We're gonna enable the count compounding. So that should do it. That's 4425250 for second month, boom does it i can check my totals over here one one seven six twenty four nine six six one one seven six twenty four nine six six mui bn that's how i'm being mui bn cost to 22 nine seven seven cost to goods sold that's down here skipping a few 22 nine seven seven and that's because these are accounts that we have that didn't have any activity in them in the prior period. So to make this whole process easier, if you're not using some accounts, you might wanna go into your chart of accounts and delete some, some of them or, or make them inactive if you can't delete them. So we'll do that one. And that one is gonna go up also by 10%, 10%. We're gonna adjust them, adjust it by 10%, 10 boom 
25. So let's total's gonna let's just check the total. 491, 346. That's the safest way to go. 49. Yep, looks pretty good. Close enough for a budget. And then we've got 18 bank service charge. Now these are gonna be easier because a lot of these are the same all the way across. So bank service charges is down here. And that's gonna be 18. 18. 18. And we'll just copy that across, copy across. 18. Bank service charges are an adult now at 18. And then the depreciation, one, two, three, six. Depreciation right there, one, two, three, six. And then I'll just copy it across. Boom. And then greenify it, greenified. And then this one we did, a, we had a 6,000 in Feb and SEP. Feb and SEP for the insurance. So insurance on Feb, 6,000 and SEP. SEP, 6,000. Okay, just to change things up a bit there. And then greenify it. And then this one, $90 internet expense all the way across. 60 is that what it was i think it was 90 90 dollars you got your little symbol backwards upside down and reversed or something whatever it's basically the same i'm gonna make that one green miscellaneous 75 miscellaneous 75 copy it across copy it across then greenify gonna testify to the greenify office supplies 350 office supplies 350 copy it across greenify it boom i got a rhythm going here oh this one's gonna mess us up because it changed in uh july july that's how forrest gump says it i think i don't know 6983 6983 payroll so payroll 6983 and then I'm going to copy it across but then I'm going to change it in July which is going to be 7682 7682 and then I'm going to copy that across but it only goes across with the remaining stuff boom and then greenify and then 486, 486, 486, copy it across, copy that, Roger, Roger out, Roger out. And then I'm gonna increase it uh, going forward. I'm gonna increase this one to just like we did 535 for the rest of the year. It's a step up, step up, 535. We have a step up, you're gonna step up I'm stepping into the step up, the greenify it. And then we've got uh, the <clears throat> telephone expense, 385, 385 for the telephone. I'll tell the phone something. Leave me alone phone. That's what I'd like to tell it. 385, 385 always, always ringing at me. I don't want to hear you ringing anymore i'm going to greenify that one utilities 634 634 for the utility 634 copy it across roger that roger out and then greenify almost there no gains because we removed those inter interest expense went down so we're going to start with the 335 and then decrease it by 95 percent. so 334 I should say, because that's the right number. Three, three, four, three, 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 four. And then I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to adjust that across and I want this to decrease each remaining amount by a percent of nine, of 5%. It's gonna decrease by 5%, leaving us with 95 of the prior and we're gonna enable editing. I think that'll do what we want. The total is at 3037. Did that match out here? No, 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 it doesn't. 
What did I do wrong? 334. The next one's 318. Looks like it's doing... Oh, the total's over here. That's why. 3037. 3037. Close enough for for a budget. Let's greenify. Greenify, and then we can check our numbers. So I'm going to say that. And then I can check my totals here. Uh, but sometimes it's easiest just to j just to run the report and then check your numbers to the report. So we'll just run the report here. I might do a more detailed check in the future. If something's off, you can always go back in here and kind of fix it. So you could do the data input fairly quickly as we did here. We could save it and say, okay, now I'm going to, what I'm going to do now is run the report. Reports, <clears throat> budget, budget overviews, the general report. And we're going to do a profit and loss. That's the one we just made. So we're going to say, and I want to do a, a account and then finish. So there it is. It breaks out to a month by month as like the general here and gives us the total on the end. So we're at the 125,974,52 total. That's a good check number. If that ties out, you got a pretty good indication. 125,965, 125,974. It's pretty close. Is that close enough for rock and roll and budgets? Let's just 125,965 minus the, minus the 125,974.2, nine dollars. I think that's, you know, pretty good. I might, I might look at it in a little bit more detail, but that's the general uh, idea of it. So in future presentations, we'll go into more detail on this budget. Now, just to note, if there was an issue, I can always adjust my budget, right? So I could, if I, if I close that budget, I can go back into my budget because it's just a data input field and I can go into the, the company and planning and budgeting, set up the budget and boom, it defaults to that one. I could make a new budget if I wanted to. I can also toggle between budgets. If I had multiple budgets, I could adjust the numbers if necessary here. We'll talk more about the reports in future presentations.